But Charles, you have to ask yourself, is she worth dying for? Yes. Poor boy. Lesson number one in being a spy. Never fall in love. Well, then I guess I'm not much of a spy. Dad, I love her. Sarah, I love you. I chose to be a spy because Sarah, I love you. You love that girl. I mean, it's all the way you looked at her. We all did. It's okay. You don't have to deny it. You tell me you don't love Sarah. You know what? You're right, buddy. I do love Sarah. I kept telling myself that I didn't. That I wouldn't, I couldn't, but I do. Are you still in love with him? No. Not anymore. We are, after all, talking about the girl I love here. I love you. One more time, just because it feels really nice to say, I love you. I feel like I've been bottling this up forever. I love you. I love you, Sarah Walker. Always have. Sarah, do you love me? Wow, I'm, uh, I'm in my underwear. I'm sitting in my underwear, holding a plastic guitar. There's a very good chance I'm making a complete fool of myself, isn't there? Yes. I should probably put some pants on. No, Chuck. Yes. What? Uh, what? Chuck, I fell for you a long, long time ago after you fixed my phone and before you started diffusing bombs with computer viruses, so yes. <laughs> yes. I love you. I'm sorry, I must have fallen asleep. Chuck. I love you. Oh. Sir, I feel so good to finally hear you say that. <laughs> but she doesn't exactly say, I love you back. I've never really done this before. Either. Even though I know that she loves me, I'm just, you know, just kind of noting it. Because I know, I know that she loves me. I, I know that. Do you? I love you, and right now I need you to believe that I'm not crazy. I love him. Ever tell him that? I love you. It shouldn't have taken me this long to say it, but I've never felt this way. Before you, the only future that I could think about was my next mission, and now, all I can think about is a future with you. I love you, Chuck. I love you, too. You think you could love a regular guy? Well, I fell in love with a regular guy. What am I, uh, what do I say? What do we... I love you. That's good. I love you. I like that. I love you, too. Nothing matters. I still love you. <sighs> you still love me? Sorry, what? You have to admit this. I did say I love you. But I love you because we're different. I love you, Chuck. That's the first thing. I love being with you. Ditto. Right back at you. We are crap communicators. What? Why are we so afraid to talk about the whole ring thing? You know, I mean, we're in love. You wear your teeth bleaching system in front of me. We should be able to talk, no? I love you, Chuck. Nothing's ever going to change that. I love you. You know that? And, I, and I'd say that even if you weren't in the process of saving my life right now, which does, by the way, make you 20 to 25% sexier in my book. All right, 50. I love you. I love you.
You know, Chuck, even in the spy world where everything is run by deceit, you still manage to somehow genuinely trust people. You know what? That's what I love about you. That's what you love about me? Not my dashing good looks or the giant computer in my brain? And you're funny. I love you. No, Chuck knew that... Chuck knows that you love him. I think that that's pretty intimidating. <laughs> that's not the reason why I love Chuck. I do want to spend the rest of my life with Chuck, with or without the intercept. But this man that I'm looking for, he loves me. Chuck, please. Chuck, I love you. By the way, you should have seen Sarah without you, man. I mean, maybe it was a good thing that you lost the intercept, because now you know that girl loves you. I mean, she will do anything for you. I just, I, I feel like I, I should be James Bond right now, you know? The, the guy who's standing on this balcony with, with you right now in this moment, I mean... I didn't fall in love with James Bond, I fell in love with you. I love you. I love you too, Chuck. But I still loved him. It may sound foolish, but I'm trying to buy a future with the man that I love. The beeps. That's Sarah. What? Look, she can't use voice communication when she's undercover, so the CIA developed a tonal language for us that only we understand. Get out of here. And right now, she's... she's saying she loves me. Or she's planning on buying a Buick. I can't really tell. It's a very confusing language. A lot of nuances. Beeps and things. I love you. Was that weird, that whole finger kiss thingy? A little, but I love you too. If you must know, we are very much in love, happy, and soon to be married. Remember, you're in love. Listen to each other. Well, oh, made, baby. Because you love me in a black tie. Oh. Oh, I love you. I love you too. I, Sarah Walker, promise to always love Chuck Bartowski. In return, he will always love me. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You make me the best person I could ever hope to be, and I want to spend and learn and love the rest of my life with you. The woman that I love is dying. How do I express the depth of my love for you? And Sarah, no matter what happens, I love you. I love you so much. I love you. I love you, Chuck. I love you too, baby. Bye. I love you. I love you too. No. I was an assignment, and then you fell in love with me. And I know that sounds crazy, and, and if I didn't know any better, I, I'd say it's crazy too, but the fact remains you fell for me, Sarah. But one day, one day when I was sure, that you could never love a nerd like me. And you came over, and I asked you if you loved me. Sarah, do you love me? And you, Sarah Walker, said yes. This is real. You really love me. With all of my heart. Except I still find myself sitting here talking to myself because because I love him I love Chuck Bortowski and I don't know what to do about it you once told me to listen to our hearts because our brains only screw us up I was in love then you're still in love and then the next day his life really changed when he met a spy named Sarah and he fell in love 